Aww, animals. United Airlines' Bunny Gate scandal rumbles on. The owners of a giant rabbit that died after flying with United Airlines are demanding an investigation into his death and compensation from the carrier, which has been having quite a few PR problems lately. Simon, a continental giant rabbit, died last month after a flight from London to Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. The bunny's former owner said he had a checkup just three hours before hopping on the plane and was fit as a fiddle. Simon was on his way to his new owners, Iowa-based investors who'd pinned their hopes on him winning their state fair's biggest rabbit competition. According to at least one airline employee, Simon may have accidentally been locked in a freezer for 16 hours after the plane landed in Chicago. Now, attorneys for the rabbit's owners are calling for an independent investigation. They say United cremated Simon after his death without permission from the owners, pretty much destroying any evidence left in the case. Standing three feet tall before his untimely passing, Simon was expected to be officially named the biggest rabbit in the world. The Iowa group bought him from UK-based rabbit breeder Annette Edwards. She owns Simon's four-foot-long father Darius, and he remains the world's largest bunny. Simon's owners want United to pay his purchase price, shipping costs, and the economic loss of his death. The owners are giving the airline seven days to respond before they file a lawsuit. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. These are troubling times for the world's third largest airline. Big Bunny dies after United Airlines flight. United Airlines is facing more PR problems after this humongous rabbit died while traveling with the airline from England to the US. The 10-month-old, three-foot-long, continental giant rabbit called Simon was expected to grow up to become the biggest bunny in the world. But owner Annette Edwards is now demanding compensation from United and the return of the rabbit's corpse to the UK for an autopsy. United insists Simon was alive and hopping when he was taken off the flight in Chicago on April 19th, and there was definitely no need to ask, Hey, what's up, Doc? An airline spokesman said the giant rabbit appeared healthy and showed no signs of distress upon landing. Simon went to sleep in a pet facility run by the airline, but 30 minutes later, an employee opened his cage and found the rabbit dead. The spokesman said the airline had offered to perform a necropsy on the rabbit, free of charge, but Edwards declined. Rabbit breeder Edwards said Simon was expected to grow to be the world's biggest bunny after his father Darius grew to a length of 4 feet 4 inches. Edwards said Simon had a veterinary checkup just three hours before takeoff from London's Heathrow Airport and was as fit as a fiddle. United said they have offered compensation to Simon's buyer in the States. The airline said it was saddened to hear of the giant bunny's death and was investigating the incident. United Airlines drags passenger off flight. United Airlines is facing yet another PR disaster. That's after this footage of a bloodied passenger being forcibly removed from a flight went viral. The man was dragged from his seat as the plane sat on the tarmac in Chicago on Sunday, bound for Louisville, Kentucky. It all kicked off when United needed to get four staff members to Louisville, but then realized the flight was already full and no seats were available. Passengers who volunteered to give up their seats and take a later flight were offered $400 in compensation and a free hotel stay. But even when that offer was doubled to 800 bucks, there were still no takers. That's when United decided to choose the volunteers themselves, and four passengers were randomly bumped from the plane. One couple left the airplane without incident, but the man in the video refused. He said he was a doctor and needed to get back to Louisville to see his patients. United staff told the man that security would be called if he didn't get off the plane. Again, he refused, and that's when things got physical. No, this is wrong. While this incident was undoubtedly brutal, United is within its legal rights to overbook flights and to remove passengers from their planes. They just have to pay compensation of up to $1,350, depending on the length of the delay. Ten minutes later, the passenger ran back on the plane looking confused. Eventually, all the passengers were made to deboard and go back to the gate while the plane was cleaned up. The plane eventually arrived in Louisville two hours late. In a statement, United Airlines apologized for what they described as an overbooking situation, but didn't say sorry to the passenger who was dragged from his seat. In an email to staff on Monday, United CEO Oscar Munoz said the man was disruptive and belligerent. 
The Chicago Department of Aviation says the security officer who dragged the passenger out of his seat has been put on leave pending an investigation. And the United Nightmare continues. There's more turbulence coming United's way, with the airline again making headlines this week for booting a couple off a flight. The Utah couple were en route to their wedding in Costa Rica. After boarding the plane, they discovered a man snoozing on their seats. Instead of waking him up, they decided to just park themselves on some empty seats nearby. A flight attendant came by asking if they were in the right seats, since they were sitting in Economy Plus, which was more expensive. The couple asked for an upgrade, but were denied and told to move back. Despite complying with the order, they claim a marshal later came and took them off the plane anyway. They were rebooked on Sunday morning, the day of their wedding. But United isn't sorry about what happened, and they claim that's not how things went down. According to the airline, the couple didn't pay for the upgraded seats, but repeatedly tried to sit there, and wouldn't follow instructions to move back to their assigned row. The couple's motives for moving seats does seem shady. And it's possible they were capitalizing on United's recent mishaps, trying to score better seats for free. But despite not being entirely at fault for this one, it's really not in United's best interest to keep booting people off their planes, especially for something as little as a seat upgrade. But I guess old habits die hard. Really, we should just be thankful they didn't assault anyone this time. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Things are going from bad to worse for United Airlines. A former United Airlines customer is claiming staff once threatened to handcuff him if he didn't give up his seat to make way for a higher priority traveler. High-flying businessman Jeff Ferns came forward with his story after the forcible removal of a passenger from a United plane on Sunday. Ferns paid $1,000 for a first-class ticket from Hawaii to LA last week, but was then told to get off the plane. The finance executive said United staff told him somebody more important had showed up at the last minute, and if he didn't budge, they'd remove him by force. Ferns was eventually downgraded to economy and placed between a married couple who refused to sit next to each other and argued for the entire six-hour flight. Back at home, Ferns asked United for a full refund and a $25,000 donation to the charity of his choice. As the LA Times puts it, uh, that's how rich guys do it. United turned down both requests, and instead offered Ferns the difference between the first-class ticket and an economy ticket. The airline then got in touch a week later to offer a $500 credit for a future trip, but Ferns said he would never fly United again. This latest PR blow to the airline comes in the wake of the forcible removal of passenger Dr. David Dow from a Chicago to Louisville flight on Sunday. On Wednesday, United offered a full refund to everyone on that flight and said it would no longer get the cops to remove passengers from planes that were too full. What's more, Chicago's Department of Aviation said two more officers involved in the removal of Dow had now been placed on leave pending an investigation. Three officers in total have now been placed on leave. Meanwhile, attorneys for Dow filed an emergency request with an Illinois state court to force United to preserve video and other evidence related to the removal of their client from the plane which in all likelihood means the lawyers are preparing a huge-ass lawsuit for damages against United Airlines. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United crew, please direct your attention to the monitors as we review the emergency procedures. There are eight emergency holding cells on this aircraft. In some cases, the nearest holding cell may be behind you. Should the cabin experience a sudden overbooking, stay calm. <laughs> handcuffs will drop from above your seat. Place the handcuffs on your hands like this. If you are traveling with small children, make sure your cuffs are on first before cuffing your children. In the likely event we call the cops to drag you off because of our own incompetence, please assume the position. A taser is located in a pouch under your seat. To use the taser, aim it at the unruly passenger and pull the trigger. Electricity will do the rest. <laughs> We remind you that this is a no-holds-barred flight. Refusing to be reaccommodated, disagreeing, or expecting any actual service is prohibited by law. If you have any questions, keep them to yourselves. 
and thank you for flying the friendly skies. Brand new services from United Airlines. United Airlines is launching a new service, a cushion called the Drag. Not only is it comfortable, it also protects your spine. The Drag has gone through rigorous testing. It can support any weight on any surface. At the same time, it also helps our employees build muscle strength. You can be one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Don't forget, your carry-on luggage can be placed between your lap. If you're worried that your belly will be exposed, please request a blanket from the flight attendant. United Airlines, experience getting thrown off a plane safely.